I've got something to talk about today that's been a little bit controversial over the last few weeks. There's been quite a lot of controversy about shooting instructors. So I thought that what I would do is try to put it into logic so that everybody understands what they're getting. Our lessons with a trailer worth the cost. That's not really related to Randolph's, there's an extensive letter in here about professional shooting instructors, are they worth the cost? Uh, it's referring to amateur know it alls and 21st century egos. We often say to people, who told you that? My mate, and he's been shooting all his life. And you say, what does your mate do for a living? He's a builder. And I said, say, tell him not to give his day job up. Yeah, if I want to build me, I've got a builder. If you want a professional shooting instructor, you don't go a builder, you go a professional shooting instructor. Yeah, I mean, this is um, one of the letters that I refer to. Yeah, um, they're saying that lessons are eye-wateringly expensive. Professional shooting stuff is not expensive. People go out and spend a thousand pounds or two thousand pounds on a gun. They go out and they spend a thousand pounds or two thousand pounds on pheasant shooting. But they would go and spend a few hundred pounds on learning to shoot the gun properly. There are three or four different types of grades in shooting instructor. The first person that most people meet is the club coach. They go to a little gun club with their friend. They've never tried cave shooting before. And the club coach says, come on, come and have a go and see if you like it. He takes them out on a very simple trap and gets them to hit a few plays. They are absolutely brilliant. They are the lifeblood of our sport. They get people to hit a few plays and that gives them the bug to come closer to. As I said before, the lifeblood of our sport, and they've probably been more people into face shooting than anybody else. The next type of instructor that you'll meet is a what we call a corporate instructor. You go out for a company day, or you go on a stag do or a hen party, something like that and you are greeted by a corporate shooting instructor. Now, again, a corporate shooting instructor, his job is to get you hitting clays. So he needs to have the ability to, in a very short period of time, get you to hit clays. And the more experience you get, is a corporate shooting instructor, the better you get at it. There are lots and lots of ways of getting people to hit a clay. Again, lots better of our sport. There are people come to us and they say, oh, I did a corporate day, or I did a stand to a hen party. Absolutely loved it. So I'd like to learn to shoot. You then come to the third person in the train. And the third person is a professional shooting instructor. Now, a professional shooting instructor's job is not to get you hitting clays. A professional shooting instructor's job is to teach you to shoot. And there is a hell of a lot of difference between a professional shooting instructor and the others. And this is where a lot of controversy 
is coming over the last few weeks. Um, that people claiming to be professional shooting instructors actually don't have the knowledge or the ability to be a professional shooting instructor. Unfortunately now, you can get yourself a shotgun, get yourself a licence, and a year later you decide that you want to become a shooting instructor. So you then go to one of the organisations who does a day course, a week's course, and you go and pay for a week's course six, seven, eight, nine hundred pounds. And at the end of that course, you come out of there and you claim to be a professional shooting instructor. You, you won't become a professional shooting instructor after a week's course. When I first started, shooting instructors did virtually a five years apprenticeship. If you wanted to be a professional shooting instructor, 30 or 40 years ago, you went to one of the shooting schools, you went to West London Shooting Grounds, you went to Holland and Holland, you went to Bosses as a trapper, and you spent two or three years as a trapper, throwing caves. And this was before we had automatic traps. So trappers learnt a hell of a lot about targets. Then after two or three years' time, if a vacancy came up, the chief instructor would say to you, would you like to become a shooting instructor? And you'd say, yeah, this is what I'm here for. Right, OK. So then, for the set, next three months or six months, you would follow the senior instructor around and watch exactly how he taught people to shoot. When the senior shooting instructor or manager felt that you had gained enough knowledge, they would then put you on newcomers and you would be given the chance of taking them out and teaching them to shoot. Not getting them to hit caves, teaching them to shoot. You were accompanied for the first six months or maybe a year by one of the senior shooting instructors who used to watch what you did, give you advice, give you suggestions on to how you can improve your technique. When he was happy with your ability, you were then allowed to take out lessons on your own. Now, from start to finish, this process took four or five years. But when you came to be a professional shooting instructor, you had got a lot of experience and a lot of knowledge. So all the controversy that's been going on over the last few weeks um, and the letters in magazines and so on, um, I hope that's put things into perspective. The one thing I have actually missed out on is that there is a fourth uh, instructor. And the fourth instructor is what I'm going to call an Olympic coach who has that top end knowledge of how to teach people to shoot in big competitions. We're shooting instructors here, we teach people to shoot. Uh, although although uh, Dave, my son, shot with the uh, Great Britain team at Double Trap, um, even he will still pass people on to what we consider to be proper Olympic professional coaches to take you to that ultimate step. And writing letters in magazines saying that certain people uh, are talking about um, enthusiastic amateurs and do wells and all that sort of thing. Um, he was right. You need to select your coach 
properly. If you just work to go out and shoot 50 k's a month at local ground club, and then go down the pub afterwards, not a problem. Get some bit through that, hit a few k's, both off a reasonably expensive gun, and then go out and enjoy your fag shooting. Professional shooting instructors are the worth the cost. And the answer is yes.